All right, so here we go. D Day. D Day. That's well, right. The day before. Well, the day of, sort of. Yeah. Comic Con. Yeah. Because of tonight being the online releases. So we have a lot to talk about. We want to go over the list, what pops are at, what stores, give you a little guide on what to expect tonight and then throughout the weekend and then even past the weekend. And just to give you some general information about Funko Pop hunting during San Diego Comic Con. Alrighty, so let's get started. Alright, so before we get started, I just kind of want to go over real quick the dates of this and what we're about to talk about. Remember, tonight, this is when they drop online. Tonight, they will be dropping from about 9 p.m. all the way to midnight Pacific time, or in other words, around midnight all the way to 3 a.m. in the morning. Now, those times can adjust, so be ready at any time, because typically Amazon will release a little early, and that'll be a re-release because they want a little early this week. And usually Walmart is kind of a throw up too. Mm -hmm. A throw up. That's for sure. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, wait, is that a pun intended? <laughs> yes. Um, th that could come in any time too. So uh, let's get started with Hot Topic. So let's just jump right into the list. Up first, they have Mr. Prickle Pants, Quasimodo, Gamora, Red Chrome Vegeta, Asuka, Cisco, Flocked Fox, Ruby Rose, Sabrina, and Myra Mira. I'm not sure how you say that one. Mm -hmm. But. Sure. One of my favorite things about Hot Topic, they always have a lot of quantity in the, in the store and yeah. online. Although they do allow you to buy like five. It depends. Each or I've seen some stores that allow you up to ten. So yeah, it that's just depends. That too. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's true. But so. typically, they usually have enough to cover that. And then when there's a big rush, I think most people are pretty kind. At least what we've experienced. I don't know about. You know, the whole world, but what we've experienced, <laughs> people are pretty kind and only take like two or three. I mean, d so. just, I mean, basically Hot Topic yep. is one of the easier stores yes. to shop in. So if you guys are thinking about what ones to go to first, Hot Topic, now granted Dragon Ball Z sometimes has been going yeah. out quick, but, but Hot Topic is one of the better ones. Yeah. And they might open early. A lot of these stores are opening early. So make sure you check with your like local social medias for those stores and see what time mm -hmm. they're opening because a lot of times, uh, nine possibly yeah. even 8.30 earlier than what it normally does. So make sure you know that time and be in line if there's something you've got mm -hmm. to have. Now, one rule of thumb that I always say is buy it online. <laughs> it's true. If it's really, really something you want, buy it online. Or go buy it in the store <laughs> and then return it or whatever. It doesn't right. matter. But that's what I would say if it's something serious you right. want. So yes, hot topic. Very easy. Up next is GameStop slash ThinkGeek because now Think Geek is gone technically, but the store is still there. At I least their know. website's gone. So if you do want to order something Think Geek exclusive online, that is going to be on GameStop's website. So we are getting the Teal Chrome Batman, Johnny Rico, Minerva, Summer McCree, Orange Conan, the Conan Serial, Kangan Kodos, the My Hero Academia Skateboard, a Hellboy and Abe Sapien 5 star. And then finally, the mystery Rick and Morty one. This one is going to be Gloody from Season 4. We don't know anything about him yet. And then the Think Geek exclusive Sticky Note Man as well, if we're going to count mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Now, uh, GameStop. Uh, th this one, I think, is actually going to be the hardest one. I think so, too. GameStop is weird, at least in our experience, because we've had several years where we've gone and the truck hasn't been there yet, and yeah. we've had to wait for the truck and to show up. And it seems like the stock is getting smaller yes. and smaller and smaller in store. So I don't know if that's what's going to happen this year, but I just want to throw that warning out there. If there's mm -hmm. something in there you really want, and I think there's a couple oh, big ones sure. here that are going to draw people in, like the Teal Chrome Batman yes. and King Kodos. Right. Those are big ones that you get them guys. online, guys. Just get them online. <laughs> Save get them in the store. That's, that's just right. I'm doing that because yeah, I have to. That's what we're gonna do, but and then return them. I really do. Well, maybe or give away or something. Oh, that's we'll figure true. something Good out. Point. I need Good two point. Batmans actually, and the King Kodos. That's true. Maybe we'll see what happens there. But again, guys, if there's something you definitely, definitely want and you can't order it online. I honestly think GameStop is the store that's going to be hard this year. I just have yeah. a feeling. I just that's, have that feeling. That's our first stop. I mean, there are some out there that I really want, but that that Batman is just up there for Mark, so we have to well, go there the first. The King and Kodos, man. That's the, that is the pop of the year. Well, man. yeah, that one too. So moving right into the box lunch list, they have Carl and Ellie Tupac, Gotink's Ghost, Forrest Gump Walking, and Moana on Boat. I think that they have some pretty good yeah, lines I here. Do too. And the one thing about this store is there aren't very many storefronts, so you probably should order it online if you really want one or kind of map it out. Yeah, you might have a choice. We just recently got a box lunch, but a lot of the country doesn't have them. Yeah. 
This is a normal, I think West Coast mainly. Yeah. But we it, were lucky enough to get one here in the Midwest. Ours but. doesn't have very many pops, I've noticed. It seems complex. lately yeah. they've been having a very low number. Mm -hmm. So this one, like this one's got some warning signs too. Oh yeah. I, I want that Carl and Ellie two pack, so. The Carl and Ellie two pack is going to be, I think, pretty big. I think that Gotinks is going to be big. Mm -hmm. I even think the Forrest Gump's going to be big. I think so too. Moana's cool, but a lot of times these pop rides... They're uh, easier to get. They're easier to get because people don't like to spend uh, the money on them. Right. They're 40 bucks. Now up next we have Target. Target's kind of a weird one. Target is going to have Derek Zoolander and Scott Howard. So not a lot of them there. And I don't think those are necessarily great pops. So I'm not going to see people breaking the doors down <laughs> to get these. You never uh, know. Not to mention they've been in the store early too. I mean Target's yeah. kind of a mess. But what I do like about Target is they're matching themselves up with all the other stores. So again, this is going to be tomorrow morning again, like right. the other ones when, right. when your Target opens. And I doubt they open Target early for Pops. I don't think that's going to happen for you a couple of them. You never know. But these ones, you should be able to walk right into Target and get them. So I don't think this is going to be any issue for you whatsoever. Now, just as a side note, they may have them at the customer service desk because I know that at some yeah. cons or events, they keep them at the customer service desk. So you might want to sure. check there instead of going all the way back or check in the electronics section because sometimes they keep yeah. them there too. So now, those are the two places. That also brings up another point. The 21st, I believe, and August 2nd, there's going to be two more big drops from Target. So those, I'm surprised they didn't mash those together and Me throw too. them in with yeah. Comic-Con because that's what uh, they usually do and it's been working well for them. But I know Entertainment Earth is allowed to sell all the Target exclusives first at, at San Diego Comic-Con only. So they might have some issue yeah, with it this year for some, some strange reason. But... That one's gonna have some big, some big ballers there. Yeah, Everybody man. wants that flocked uh, dog. <laughs> what's uh, the Target's dog? Target? Uh, what's Target's dog? Target bullseye. Dog, I don't know. Bullseye, bullseye. Yeah. Everybody wants Target a bullseye. Dog, I don't know. Everybody wants bullseye. But I want the, the Washington crossing the Delaware. Yeah. I that do one's too. gonna be sick. And yeah, so that one's coming up August second. So be ready for that one. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into Barnes Noble since there's only a couple of them in there. Barnes Noble is getting Rita Skeeter, Nagini, Ting, the Gold Demogorgon, Astro Snoopy. And Bean. So we have to say a couple things about Barnes and Noble. Yes. Again, Barnes and Noble. Do they ever open early? I don't remember them ever opening early. I don't think they do. I don't, I don't remember. They ours might open ours. like five minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> so Barnes and Noble typically has a decent amount of stock um, because I don't see any of these being highly popular. Maybe, Maybe Rita Skeeter. <laughs> I was going to say Rita Skeeter is up there for me. Yeah, but now they're online. Will be a little different because they're online. It's kind of their their website isn't really built super well. Right. They it can handle the traffic anyways. So just as a warning, and I'll go over this at the end of the video. Um, when you add something to the cart and you hit pay now, hit it once because if you hit it twice, you're gonna charge twice. Do not hit refresh. <laughs> just wait it out. Just wait it out. <laughs> Walgreens. Walgreens is gonna get Wong. Now, Walgreens doesn't usually have them in store. No, they're usually an online only. Yeah, this has been an online only thing and. The dates are a little weird. They kind of go, well, they do whatever they want usually. But I think <laughs> this true. year, they might possibly go sometime during Friday night. So I hope, hope so. I hope that they can be consistent with the other stores. Well, that'd be a Thursday. Wednesday well, going into Thursday. So I don't know. We don't know about Walgreens. Walgreens is a little crazy. And then BlizzardGear.com is going to get the Reinhardt and Bridget 2-pack, which this usually goes on sale, I want to say early. I think so too. Like If I don't remember... I think it went early last time. Because they always get an Overwatch yeah. pop or two-pack, it seems like, mm -hmm. every Comic-Con. And for some reason, I remember them going early. But I could be wrong. So I know one year they went late. So I, I don't can't know. remember. Some of them, <laughs> yeah. these cons kind of blur together for me. Now jumping into Walmart, we're going to have Howard as Batman, Raj as Aquaman, Penny as Wonder Woman, Sheldon as Flash, Leonard as Green Lantern, The Flash T, Bazinga T, and the glow-in-the-dark Loot Llama. Now, I have seen that they might have, some Walmarts might have a stand or a display within the store. That's mm. not a guarantee that your Walmart will have that. I mean, it's Walmart people. We <laughs> never know guarantee. what's going to happen there. <laughs> Nothing's a guarantee so, at Walmart. There's that. Yeah, and they did go up early. They did. A week and a half ago, I would say, by now. Um, those will be back, but oh, yeah. Walmart likes to, they're kind of like Amazon where these things go up a little early, but they're sort of hidden, but the links are up anyways. Mm -hmm. And then they sell a certain amount and then it closes and then it opens up later. Uh, that's what Walmart usually does. Let's just hope to God they don't do the zip code thing where only these zip codes can buy it. And then it's a mess trying to track down. Yeah. And let's just hope to God that doesn't happen. Walmart. And they release them with everybody else. Yes. But if they do release them with everybody else, Usually, these are early in the day. Mm -hmm. I think typically from what I've seen in the past, it's like 6 o'clock. Yeah. You know, uh, like that. Eastern Standard Time, sometime around then, midday. 
Um, it's not going like into midnight, and sometimes they do really you know, terrible midnight. times. Yeah, we're gonna say Eastern Standard Time for us because that's we that's live the time in zone the Midwest. In. I know a lot of people are in Pacific Time uh, just because you know population wise, but um, you know we stick with Eastern Time. You can kind of do the math, but yeah. Walmart's throwing up there as far as when they're going to release. All right, so up next is Entertainment Earth. And of course, this is an online store only. This isn't a store you can go to. We have Jaws Eating Quint and Man Thing. A couple of good ones. A couple of real good ones, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, so Entertainment Earth already went up, but it was on accident online. So it was only <laughs> up for like half an hour before it said sold out. But it's coming back. It's coming back. I think they said Friday morning at 9 a.m. So uh, it will be back. So mm -hmm. don't worry about that if you guys weren't able to get that. And again, if you guys can't remember any of these times, we'll put a link down below that has our Facebook and our Twitter group because we uh, announce these when they come out so you guys can put notifications on yeah. and you don't have to worry about uh, you know, when they come out and it's all stressful. And moving right into Amazon, they have Chrome Boba Fett, Chuckles, and Terran and the Horn King. Amazon's kind of an easier one, I think, to get out of most of the online stores. You mm -hmm. know, Amazon's website is used to a lot of traffic so you don't have those kinds of issues or fluctuations. Right. Um, they've already gone up at one point. So yeah, they've hidden, gone up right. this every year, so don't worry. Yeah, no worries it's, there. It's, I know this year they've been doing the Gold Bloom names, and it's, and it's confusing people, <laughs> yeah. but uh, they do it every year. They mm. don't usually have code names, but we kind of know that, that Gold Bloom, we've seen them in the systems, that that's mm. kind of a, a, a you know hidden word for a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they've gone up already, but they will be back, and they mm -hmm. will be back in a decent amount of inventory. Yeah. So if there is something on that list, do not worry, it will be back. But again, usually they, they release a little early, too, in the day. Mm -hmm. So I, I say um, midnight to 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is usually that hard window. But that's usually for, like, Hot Topic and GameStop and Box Lunch and right. Barnes & Noble. You know, the, the big crew. Whereas, like, Walmart and Amazon and some of these other ones, they kind of do their own thing. So moving right into FYE, they have Chrome Yoda and Tracksuit Jerry. One of the issues that we've experienced with FYE in the past is they don't have good quantities within store, yeah. or they have an abundance of one and none of the They're other. All one. Or... Like Masters of the Universe yes. has been pretty slim lately. Yeah. Now, I don't think these are strong pops whatsoever. I think the Chrome Yoda could be popular, but... Nah, people are sick know. of Chrome. I really That's think true. people are sick of Chrome. They yeah, you're right. <laughs> So I don't think that one's going to be super big. And, and Funko, like always, we can expect them to overdo Chrome. Like it's going out of style, which, trust me, it's been out of style. It's definitely going out of style. And, yeah, so... You mean all those Chrome Thanos? They're just not, you know, they're not super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plenty of Chrome stuff out there now. And I, do, I know Star Wars fans are not they're not happy about this yeah. because now they're, like, only doing Chrome stuff and not bringing new characters out. That's true. That's, it's not a good thing. Um, not a good look. But yes, I don't think this is going to be a big, a big deal. Um, Tracksuit Jerry, kind of cool. I don't know what Funko was doing with this hidden uh, Rick and Morty stuff. Like, why? Was that really going to ruin Season 4? <laughs> no. Was that going to ruin anything in Season 4? So we are going to go into the con without people actually seeing, like, proper glams of this. Yeah, I think that that's probably dumb. going to do some damage. It's just stupid. Yeah. It's just dumb. It's just stupid. I mean, come I on. the way you do it. It's just stupid. Just but anyways, let's move into the next door. This is the store that everybody asks constantly about oh, because gosh. You know, they get good pops. And that's just the way it is. And that's Toy Tokyo. So Toy Tokyo is an interesting store, let me tell you. They're at one store. It's not like this is a store you can find all around the country. One store in New York. That's, That's it. Right. So things are a lot different than what you're going to notice with these other stores. If you guys are going to the con, Toy Tokyo's booth or pops are within the Funko booth. So it's not something else you have to go to. So kind of understand that. Now, as far as if you're at home and you want their pops, get ready. You're going to get tired. That's right. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to get tired. Usually what happens is I believe they ship from San Diego because it would cost too much money or even Everett. I'm not sure. But they would cost too much money for them to ship all these pops to New York and then have to ship them right. around the country. So typically, if I remember right, what happens is after San Diego Comic-Con, Lev, the, the owner of Toy Tokyo, he usually goes to San Diego Comic-Con. And I think they count up all the numbers after the con and they get things together and then they ship from there. I from, think you're right. From either Funko or San Diego. And that's just the best, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. So I think he goes back to New York and then they've got some employees that kind of put these stuff together i think so um so usually that takes about a week um sometime i think it's always been about a week i don't know I if it's ever been more than a week mm -hmm. it's been less than a week but usually it's spicy grip and um i believe usually it was around 3 a.m <laughs> eastern standard time and then it does use a password too mm -hmm. And which was a good idea yeah. and usually that's on twitter that's on toy Tokyo's twitter they'll announce it hey it's yep. live and then they give you a password so you right. want to make sure you follow Toy Tokyo's Twitter, which is toy underscore Tokyo. 
and then put, put notifications on. It's gonna be the quickest way to do it because yeah, you can follow our social media, but you know, remember you're, you're regurgitating that information, which takes, you know, a little time and these mm -hmm. things sell out so quick, fast, real quick. There'll be bundles and it's just like around hundred bucks. Yeah. And then the singles and almost always you're better just to get the bundle, get out. Yeah. That's just the way it's worked. Yeah. Because you can process. use some of the other stuff from them to mm -hmm. just kind of trade bait or, or something. Yeah. Sell them whatever you yeah. gotta do to, you know, just get what you want. And it's not hard to sell them usually. Right. But another thing last year they brought out like the first batch or whatever like a week after the con and then they canceled a lot of the bot orders of the duplicates and then they released like a week later <laughs> which i appreciate that they yeah. go through and cancel the duplicates or the bot orders because yeah. you know everybody wants to have a chance to get it and when you have those kinds of things happen it's just peeves me off. <laughs> and the last one, the second one last time was at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah, I was at work. I was so, like, oh my gosh. And they don't tell you guys, man. It's no. gonna be, it just, it just is what it is. And it's really, really tiring. So that's all I'm going to say. But I didn't even go over what the pops they're going to get. <laughs> so they are going to get Peter Pez, Glow in the Dark Ultraman, Kato Maskless, Glow in the Dark Rat Fink, Green Chrome Rat Fink, and Black Chrome Rat Fink. I want to say something about these pops real quick before we go into the next door. The Rat Fink is going to be the... Actually, from what I've seen in the comments, Rat Fink and Ultraman seem like the really? ones... Yeah. Now, Peter Pez, I think, is going to be That's cool. That's what I But thought. we did see that there's going to be another Peter Pez coming out with just a different variant with a blue hat instead of red. So that actually made it not as important. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Yeah, so that's good in a way. But the the Rat Fink, I think the Glow in the Dark Rat Fink is cool. But if they come out with a flocked version of that, I think the Glow in the Dark one becomes... Yeah. Right? Yeah, I agree. The Chrome ones, who cares about the Chrome ones? In my Again, who's who's sick of Chrome? <laughs> yeah. So honestly, I think the Ultraman one in this is the one to have because it's going to be the the most different from mm -hmm. all the I others agree. and doesn't really have a future of coming out with something that sort of competes against that. Right. It's my opinion. Now the Kato Maskless. Again, this just exists for the people that weren't be able to get the two pack last time from Toy Tokyo. Then next we just have a previews exclusive Glow in the Dark Pickle Rick. Previous exclusives are huge numbers, like 25,000, so I wouldn't worry about this. This is already on Amazon, so if you guys want this, um, you know, do that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it's just is what it is. They got a lot of Pickle Ricks now. Yeah. They got a lot of them. <laughs> so I wouldn't look at this as like, oh god, I gotta get this one. It might sell out. It is what it is. <laughs> and moving into the Funko Shop, they're gonna have the SDCC Bag Batman, SDCC Toucan, SDCC Toucan Pez, Sigmund, Baby Puss, Lazy Luke, Hoppy, Sergeant Blast, HR Puff and Stuff, Banana Splits Pez, Quisp and Quake, and the Vegan Police. Now the Funko Shop is kind of a hard place to get pops from because <laughs> they are, I don't know, they just go quickly. Hardest one. This is yeah. the hardest one. Uh, but that could be different this year. Here's an update while I'm recording. The Funko Shop is going to go up Thursday, July 18th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or other words, 10 a.m., which is the normal time that the Funko Shop goes up. The Batman I want just because I want I want yeah, Batman. Uh, right. I kind of want that toucan too, just because it's cool. It's yeah. it's kind of an ad icon in a way. That's and, true. You know. Ah, what do you go for? Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> so it is what it is. What a but, silly question but, I asked. <laughs> but again, these are gonna be hard to get. So you look at Toy Tokyo is hard, and look at Funko Shop is hard. And there's a possibility that Funko Shop they've been doing a lot bigger numbers now. That's, That's been, true. you know, every Wednesday now, you know, they used to sell out in mm -hmm. the first five minutes every time. Right. Hasn't been the case now. Almost nothing sells out now because yeah. they went ahead and raised those numbers since the, you know, I mean, Funko now has a million followers on yeah. Twitter. Well, they're not so doing do those, that. like, the the runs from back when we first started collecting, like in 2011 when Thousand they had those 480s, you know, yeah. thousands. Yeah. Yeah. So those And that's ones... funny, too, because, I mean, when that happened, it was really cool because yeah. we were still a small group. Yeah. Um, but if they, and everybody's like, you know, we want it to sell out, blah, blah, blah. Cause, but can you imagine if Funko came out with a, like, I don't know, a thousand piece Tony Tiger, Tony the Tiger, or 3,000 piece Tony the Tiger. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if that came out again? People just wouldn't be happy. And so you got to understand why they've raised those numbers. Plus, I think they're looking at the Funko shop now as just a store. It's not necessarily bringing something out like special and exclusive and low numbers. Um, I think that they should have those mm -hmm. sprinkled in because that's kind of what makes collecting fun yeah. is when you have that real rare one, that hard mm -hmm. one to get. Um, so sprinkling that in is good. But I do think overall having larger numbers for Funko Shop stuff is a good idea. And 
I agree. Yeah. I like the low numbers every once in a while because mm. it makes the hunt fun. And yeah. I like when they make it kind of enticing like that. Like, hey, we have a small quantity of this. So yeah. do you really want this? It's kind of like that supply and demand. Give you something to hunt. Yeah. You know, give you something to hunt. So, yeah. Um, and then finally, we just have the ones that are at the con that you won't be able to get. So we have Winona Earp, and that one only has a thousand pieces. And Louis Blue, which only has a thousand pieces. And then we also saw the Sith Trooper. Um, now it says this is an SDCC debut, so they did. Funko has a habit of never really giving any right information on yeah. their social media, um, or enough of it, to be honest with you, or wrong information at, at a lot of times. <laughs> and so we don't really know what's going on with this. We can only assume this is sort of like a first to market pop, yeah. like they're gonna drop it at the con and then it'll come out later. But they also said that about Doctor Who, and that didn't end up being the case. And yeah, so you know. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I don't know about this one. It could go be both ways. It could go being a really hard one to get, or it can be yeah. something very simple. Or when the movie comes out, this could be like one of 10,000 the same variants of the Sith Trooper. And you won't even That's care. That's true. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so that is all the con pops. Now, one more set of pops that you guys might know about, and that's the Conan pops. Every year, Conan has his San Diego Comic-Con shows. They're live at San Diego. And he has a pop of himself, a mishmash pop each show and he gives the audience one of those pops that changes every show all four days but the audience at home also has a chance to win them and typically what he does is he gives a code out and you have to take that code onto a website that he gives and then you know type it in with your email and everything and then it'll tell you immediately if you won or you lost and uh, we never won we've been we've doing this for a lot of years won. never won <laughs> but there is a chance of winning and, and we see a lot of people winning so it's mm -hmm. not like it doesn't happen right um, but uh, it takes about, like three to four months sometimes longer to get it yeah. so if you do win don't expect it till like like October I think it was maybe awesome. Thanksgiving yeah it, it just <laughs> takes a while so that's all I'm saying so this year we have Conan slash Iron Man we have Conan slash Jon Snow we have Conan slash Pennywise and we have Conan slash Woody so what do you think about these I think these are awesome I mean I always like the mashups with Conan because they always pick, I think, something that is popular or, you know, a show that is happening right now, especially mm -hmm. like Toy Story. Toy Story. It's right there. Uh, I kind of, yeah, sense. I kind of want the Toy Story is one just sad? because it's so weird. Is it sad this Conan is the only uh, Game of Thrones San Diego Comic Con? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I opinion. think it has to do with the finale. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, they're, they're pretty good this year. Mm -hmm. They're not, like, great because they didn't do anything. They're literal head swaps. Yeah. So, you know, I like to see, like, last year they had a Hellboy where they painted the face and everything. Yeah. So this year, they're, they're boring. But th they make sense because you have, like, Iron Man, obviously, in-game. You know, you have strong titles that were big this year, so I think it's it's okay. They're I, fun to win. Yeah. It's just, it's not a big deal. They're just fun to win. Maybe they were a little more special when GameStop didn't start getting their little ones. Yes, I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I still always like the Conan Pops just because... I like Conan. I think he's funny. I know it's kind of hit or miss for some people, but I enjoy these pops. See, I don't really even like Conan that much. Like really? his show's okay, but I don't like, like, really care. I think so, he's kind of a weird guy, and I think that's what maybe, <laughs> I like maybe. watching. I don't know. Comedy. It's just fun. Know. It's just something fun. I mean, it is what it is. When, when it's cool to be a little mashup or whatever, yeah. so yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's all the pops going into the stores to give you a little guide. Again, if you guys want this guide, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check it out. It'll also be on our Instagram. We'll go ahead and put them on both Instagrams. Yep. That's nerd underscore therapy underscore official or Funko Pop Hunters. It'll be there if you guys just want to look at something and you're in the store really quickly. Um, also, I'll have a link um, below for you to get to the Facebook and get the Twitter if you guys want to put notifications on and be alerted when these things go live. Also, tonight we're going to be on a live stream. Jetta Patrol is having another one of those big live streams of a bunch of pop collectors and, and just pop culture Everybody collectors in general. Everybody getting pumped for the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody getting pumped for the hunt. Um, that's going to be at 10 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I'll put Jetta's link down below. So come, come join us. Come have fun. We can talk about stuff up until all these things are released. We'll probably have to jet out a little early because of running the, um, you know, the social media and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll probably just kind of be there to say hi because obviously just, we have a kid yeah. so we can't be up too late. I'm probably going to be there for just a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and then i got to put Alex to bed because, let's be honest, that's about an hour past his bedtime. <laughs> yeah. And he will be a grumpy butt. Come on, join join the group. we got a lot of fun people on there and uh, let's talk Funko. So again, most of these will go online Anywhere from midnight to 3 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So expect the unexpected to, like Amazon might drop early, Walmart might drop early. Big Brother reference there. <laughs> expect the unexpected. Um, that's the main stuff. That's like the hot topics in the box lunches and the Barnes and Nobles and the GameStops. And then usually we'll have some other stores release early 
Friday morning, like EE is going to do that, yeah. and probably FYE. They might go midnight to a Thursday. Just follow the social media. That's all I can tell you. This has Just... been kind of a hard year to keep up with yeah. because Funko has been kind of all over the place. They originally said, uh, or at least alluded to, the 19th. And now we're on the 18th. Yeah, I mean, Thursday the store's kind of Friday, shifted that. So. And it's messing stuff up. So, yeah, yeah that's as much information I can give you. That's right. Just be ready tonight, anywhere from midnight to 3 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, so that is it. Good luck is what I'm going to say. We say it every year. Good, Good luck. luck. Go get what you want. Be there in the morning, in line, early. If there's something you've got to have, just be there early. That's right. So, that's, all you can, that's all we can say. Be there yeah. early or get it online. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you guys next video, which should be our San Diego Comic Con hookup on it. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.